on stage like what do i do when i go on stage like what do i say how do i i can do radio because i'm sitting in a room but how can i walk on stage with confidence and do a performance for an hour and a half the anxiety of just just everything you know You know, when will I get to see my granddaughter again? That anxiety, that, you know. So this is Rick, so, Ricky Snell and this is his son. Pouring his heart out. I'm doing the morning show. But, um. Uh, it'd be like, it'd be like, God, I'd be trying to. Do everything. Um, do everything right. Like sometimes you be honest, you be like, God, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to us? You know. Um, this is so toxic, you guys. Dad is always yelling at Jamie. Then you got Mama Arena just stuck in the middle. This father and son team, they should be able to get along. They should be close. But something is going on between these two. So let's just see what's going on now. Dad been yelling. I'm not going to play all that yell. He just yell, 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 yell. He yells so much at this young man. And I do know it's out of frustration. He, I do know he wants the best for his son. But he has to be a child. He is, he's a man now. They say he's 26 years old. Let's just listen. What's the man? And don't go back in there. Oh, I told you I'm not playing this, man. Play with me, you will get your ass knocked out in this hole. I don't want to fight the young man. I don't want no problem. I just want him to do better. But yeah, I'm the bad guy. You had an event with your family. You got your right. friends and your family. I'm celebrating you. Jason. But I'm sick of them. I understand. You had an event with your friends and your family. You understand what I'm saying? Look where you got to think where you at right now. Listen, you're not fighting your mom. So, Dad doesn't have, uh, don't look like Dad have control over his emotion. The young man is telling him the truth. Think where you're at. You're at an event, somebody else's event, and you're yelling at your son to the top of your voice. To be clear, toxic parent. He, he's just a toxic parent. They are typically parents that maybe he got a lot of guilt in me. Maybe uh, something went on in the childhood. We don't even know, but his pattern of behavior is negativity. It's negative towards his son. Now, I know the child makes him upset, but that child is a human being as well. It means that they're going to make mistakes. Seems like any mistake that little Jamie do, he's going to get yelled at. So all this yelling that dad is doing has damaged this boy, not potentially damaged. He probably been yelling at him since he was a little kid. And I know maybe it's unintentionally uh, that those two get into it. Unintentionally meaning that dad comes to him with, a pro with, with how he feels. And, and little Jamie going to explain that, you know, it just leads to other things. Dad is very impulsive. Very impulsive. Do you understand me? You're going to get me out of character. I'm not, not oh, you know I've been changing. I know that. Just brief for a second, all right? Recently just passed a job physical. I had to do blood work and pass a drug test. Listen, I listen, passed. Can you stop talking? I just passed my drug test for my job, right? Okay. I didn't get my job because of my background check. It wasn't we know because that. I cannot we pass that a drug that. test. We That's know one that. thing. We know that. Then you just don't talk to me for a week because you... So let's go with what the boy is saying. The boy is saying that now dad is calling him all kinds of names because he felt like he should do better. 
some kind of way, I don't know what happened, but he said his background check is not good. So he's having a hard time finding a job. He is clean and he says that he's clean. He passes his urine test, but dad, oh my God. I wish dad would just hear that. You know, abuse is not just physical. But verbal abuse hurts, you guys. Abuse is not always hidden. He, this man yelling threats at his son. Something so totally obvious that this is hurt, hurting this little boy. I mean, this man, he's 26 years old. He's calling him all kinds of names. Now, uh, uh, mom and dad is talking about how he always shifted his blame. How Jamie always shifted the blame when uh, things don't go his way. Gaslighting. Dad gaslighting Jamie. I'm telling you, the way dad be screaming at Jamie, he be gaslighting him. And sometimes we, 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 uh, we have to uh, kind of light up on our children. Don't let them pull you into this gas light. Let's just finish with Dad and see what Dad got to say. Get a job. That's my fault. You don't get a job or anything. Something happened with you and your girlfriend. Anything can happen to you. You take it out on the family. Lord, don't. You do. You shut us out. Shut the shut the out. Okay, but that's not good. We're your family. We love you. We support you. He deserves a chance to at least say this time. I heard what he said. Deeper than that. Sir, you are not progressing at all. You heard what she said. You need to give Jamie a chance to express how he feels. Now, he expressing how he feeling with his mom. You know, look, mom, is my background. Is, uh, maybe something in his background is, is preventing him from getting a job. The one thing dad said to the, to the young man is that he don't have a job, but he worked with me. I don't understand that. That's a job, Dad. Dad got outbursts. The child got outbursts. But I know Dad is always painting Jamie as a bad guy. So I, I've had bad, bad. What's up, man? Talk to me, bro. Talk to me, man. Oh, here. He's going on. Let me talk to me. What's talk to me? But I'm not his brother or his champ or none of that. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You feel like he treats you like you're his brother? Yeah, I'm not none of that. Stop playing with me. That's why I was getting irritated. I'm the bad guy once again. Well, I mean, quit telling Jamie that he's worthless. He, or just plain bad. You got, you can't keep telling your children, you bad, you bad. I hate to hear a parent say that. In their head, they internalize that, that they're worthless. Man, uh, it's got to be a better way. It's got to be a better way, Dad. Now, Dad feeling guilty now because he even screams and yell. Now he feels like, you know, everybody looking at him as the bad guy. I'm not judging Dad because I've been there too before with my own kids. Well, I've had to have outbursts and bad days. And then later on, uh, since I matured, I learned how to handle it in a different way because I'm holding you accountable to do better with your life. And at this point, I'm just, I'm just frustrated. I'm just, I'm just sick of it. How are you going to say I'm not for I bought you the car you drive. Man, your grandma bought that car. It's paying on Sean. He, not, he don't have a job. He's working with me, yeah, but he don't have a job. Sometimes men got to be men. We got to be men. Huh? And when you're a man... Huh? I, now, I, this is Quicksilver. This is Ash, uh, Ashford Husband, you guys now. I love the way he communicated with this young man. Listen how he communicate. I wish dad, dad, I guess dad took close to him to have these type of skills, but it, it calmed him down. He's listening because uh, DJ Quicksilver is not screaming at him. He's offering him advice. Now y'all listen at this, this is great. If it's car, you got to deal with that on your own. And you can't get mad at another man. Not going to say far, but another man for not helping you. But I never got mad at him. But that conversation went from one thing to another. 
He need to hear that. Get mad at me and get your ass on track. You 26, man. And I'm not discrediting what you are, what you've been through in your life. That's all I'm saying. I appreciate Quick for trying to say, you know, his two cents and everything, but Quick is what I needed right now. Quick, I'm good. I'm, I'm mad right now. Leave me alone, Quick. I hear what you're saying, but leave me. So, seem like dad behavior is self-centered, you guys. Dad has just got this self-centered behavior. He may be a bit of a narcissist. He's just, dad is just emotional, uh, unavailable. When you have a parent that emotional, unavailable, it comes out like as if they're, they're uncaring about the. So Melody throwing shade at her enemies. This will end like I want it to, she says. All right, let's see what Melody say. When the enemy think he has you and your purpose in the palms of his, of his hands, stand up and declare, I win. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. You are a winner. Hashtag victory. Hashtag for his glory. Hashtag breaking cycle. Hashtag melody hoax. I know that's right, April said. This coming from Melody Cherie fan page, you guys. Yes. Melody throwing shade at her, at her enemy. And I'm going to say it one more time. When the enemy think he has you. Who is it? Y'all look at him walking all over the table. Oh my God. Look at the hoax. Wait, there's like lipstick on your lips. That's not no lip gloss. That is lip gloss. Who gave it to you? Grandma. Oh, your grandma gave it to you? No, it's lipstick. Look at her lips. Grandma, look at my lips. It's not red. Baby, it's red. It's lip gloss. Told you. This boy walking all over the table. I don't have it. I don't see nothing but beauty on you, Melania. Look at that. I don't see nothing but beauty on you, son. Look at that. Beauty. Look at that. 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 I'm just trying to look cool tonight, you know, you know, you know, I got to look crazy, Marlene trying to get Martell attention, she can't do nothing with, not, not walking all on the table, all on everybody. Look at him, y'all.